This week, the demolition and reconstruction of our little Scottish cottage begins. Is there any point in taking the rest of the ceiling down? I hope you like building houses. After nine years of traveling the world and making adventure videos, we've decided it's time to slow down and build our own little piece of paradise here in Scotland. Come on, Trav, get involved. Oh, I'm gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> After months of waiting for the keys, we've finally been let loose to do what we want. It smells a bit. It smells like cheese. It's literally just a drain pipe that goes outside. That's oh, right. I was hoping we'd find an animal soon. So click subscribe to see how this old beauty turns out. Oh, it's damp. Really damp. Loads of mouse poo. You are off the job set, though. So the question on a lot of people's minds is why was there such a massive delay in us getting the keys for the house? This house actually, the water supply runs off a well, which is really cute and really like cute little private supply just for us. It was contaminated. Our mortgage lenders wouldn't actually lend us the money until the house was habitable, which meant that we had to sort the water, which took a long time because we're not up here. We don't know anybody up here that could sort it. In the end, it turned out our mortgage people only needed a quote for the work to be done. And then I guess they trusted us to go ahead and do that. So we haven't actually sorted it yet. Nah, nah. Um, <laughs> Don't tell Halifax, yeah? But it's on the to-do list. So we did buy this property subject to zero surveys and a lot of you were kicking off about that. <laughs> but we did see the home report. So what is actually wrong with this old girl? Let me tell you what the home report says. There are three categories to a home report. Repair category one, two and three. One means not too bad. Two means things that need attention in the future. Slip slates and skews. What's a skew? Cracked chimney pots. Asbestos roof, cracked. Pointing is weathered. Rough cast is cracked and loose. Vision between the window panes. That's a shame. Wonky floors in the middle bedroom. Stiff internal doors. Old wiring which doesn't meet regulations. Heating system is basic in nature. And category three are urgent repairs needed. Dampness and fungal growth in the bathroom. On the ceilings. Internal walls. Wood boring insects in the roof timbers. Hello, anybody in there? Rainwater fittings twisted and missing. Well, who nicked that then? We got a bit of work to do. Let's get into it. So uh, we're pretty new to this house renovation stuff. And to be honest, it's very overwhelming. Like I'm looking at that cottage now thinking, what happens now then? What's that? Our skill set, um, fairly limited, but we've got the vision, you know, and we've got the tenacity and the get up and go, and we're gonna give it a good bash. There's a few things we need to do before we start. Number one is light the fire to heat this place. It's been a while since it's been lived in, so it's quite moldy. So we need to do a bit of cleaning as well. We're also gonna remove anything that we don't need or want, you know, like the curtains, like old furniture that we're gonna get rid of. And then, demolition, baby. Now that that's done, time to clean. Let's start with the kitchen. <coughs> what is that? Is that the mold stuff? Open the window. <coughs> oh, that came down quick, didn't it? So we don't really use this kitchen, apart from the fridge freezer, which I cleaned the other day, it took me two and a half hours. Obviously we've got our main kitchen and everything that we need in the bus that we're living in while we renovate this property. So everything we've got is in that bus, but everything in here just needs a good clean. Absolutely not. We kind of lost the pole for the Hoover. Oh, just pull it all off, eh? That's fun. Strong cleaner, that, isn't it? <laughs> Um, I'm looking to hire a skip. What size are you after? What's the options? He told us we can only have the skip for seven days. I thought you could have it for like months and months and months. Okay, so that that um, idea is not gonna happen now. We don't have enough stuff at the moment for a skip, so I think we're just gonna put everything we don't need into the back of the truck and go to the local dump. That's one more place we get to visit in our area this week. The strip out. The ceiling will probably oh. come down. Oh. Oh, you didn't want to keep that, did you? I know you loved it. Nice one, Grandad. <laughs> well, that was quick. <laughs> I'm 
I'm kind of hoping that under this carpet and all the mold that comes with it, there's going to be some like incredible like tiled floor or mosaic piece of art or... What's that? Oh, that was easy. Oh, I mean, I know what this would be good for, tap dancing. Come on, try get involved. It's like they started putting the floor down and just decided not to. <laughs> We could have used this because of the best roof. Saved us a fortune. I don't know what this is. It looks like some sort of like membrane, but there's no insulation. It's just solid concrete floor. That's what we needed to know, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it's so friggin' cold in this house, I think I'm gonna go and set myself in the tumble dryer for a bit. There's like three layers of floorboards for some reason. Maybe they were just trying to level it out, but we might have to pour some concrete in here just to level this place out. Oh, it's very wonky, isn't it? But these are like brand new boards though, which is great. Does that mean anything to you or? No. Just as I thought. Good job, good job. <laughs> Next room then. This channel is going to be a collaboration, um, lots of between yourselves watching and us. We're very much new to this, as we've said before, and we will be asking for a lot of advice. So the first thing, um, if you will, as you've seen, like the, the carpet was super moist, damp, moldy. So we think that there's rising damp coming from this wall here, because that's the back of the house. So we've got this thing here, which Craig's called, called in a membrane. What do we put between that wall and that floor to stop the, the wet coming in? Is that like a tape or like a foam or like a glue? or something that goes in there let us know down below so that we can move forward with our house renovation i know this might be the blind leading the blind <laughs> but you need to know how to use a drill yeah i do so i'm going to teach you how to use a drill today okay this is a drill hold it okay it's yours it's mine yes what's mine is yours these are the power settings this reverses it that is to go forward and there's also one and two here what's that two is more powerful the most important thing you need to know is how to change the end. So all you do is you put it in reverse, you hold this part. Don't hold this because it'll go through your hand. And then you press the trigger. Do the same thing. Take it out first, yeah. Oh, Grip it. Wow. There you go. Me piece. This. She's a big fella. I want it's fun. Show the people what you've done. <laughs> that is how you do not lo load a drill. Just there you go. You're ready to rock. And that's how you use a drill. Go on, Trevor. I'm about to you up. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't bend certain ways. Look at the state on those bad boys. You remember in history class when you have to like teabag a letter just so it looks older? They've definitely done that. Blind's got teabagged. Just rip the whole thing off rip the wall. Off. Go on, rip it. Rip it. Oh! took a toenail off them as well. And that is how you use a drill. <laughs> Go slower. <laughs> Great, this renovation is going to take nine years. <laughs> Come on, you have to do Mate, this. I'm sweating. If you get that screw out, I'll give you a tenner. Make it a tenner and a cake. All right, so mm -hmm. get it in there. Jump. Jump. It. Jump. <laughs> get it, Trevor. I got him. Why is it not coming out? She's won herself a tenner and a cake! <laughs> yes. My put that on a necklace. Proud of that. Oh, that's in the other one. <laughs> Look at this bit of kit. What? What was that? Yeah, con. It's literally just a drain pipe that goes outside. Yeah, you do that when you pull it down and I won't stand behind you. How about that? Alright, you bloody show off. Stop it. Um, I'm actually really starting to think that I'm quite unnecessary for this build. No, you bring the fans. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. You bring, you bring the comedy. <laughs> yeah, but it will take probably like a third longer than it should. Yes. Come on, you just hold that tight. Yeah? Don't the rock it on my head. I can't trust the... you now. <laughs> If anyone wants a Samsung TV, feel free to come and get it. There we go. And toe. Problem. I'll just go and sit down. This video is sponsored by AG1. Me and my guy Tony, we run a business. Pest control. We used to catch these critters with our eyes closed. But all these Scottish broads, they keep feeding us potato scans. Dundee cakes and sugary teas. You're looking a bit rotund, Frank. Don't point it out, Tony. Sorry, Frank. 
Don't worry, Frank. I got so unhealthy that my mustache fell off. Now we can't catch the bad guys that owe us money. Sorry, I mean the pests that are disturbing the residents. So not only are we unhealthy, we're broke. Then we met this Welsh couple that live in the Highlands. They said, hey Frank, try this AG1. It will sort out your gut. I heard it's a mess. So I did. That's right, he did. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports your whole body health. Filled with high quality ingredients like magnesium and B vitamins. AG1 works by supporting and sustaining your energy. So this spring I'm passing on the cups of teas and I'm reaching for AG1 instead. I'm making a promise to myself to live healthier. Thanks to a science driven blend of prebiotics, probiotics, and digestive enzymes, AG1 helps support your gut. It's done wonders for mine. So now me and Tony can make more peas catching the rats. Hey Craig, thanks for the AG1 tip, but it turns out you're one of the guys that we're after. Head to the link in the description or scan the QR code here to get a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 with your first purchase of AG1. And we'll even throw in five free travel packs. You're welcome. Get him, Tony. Oh, fill the whole house wobble in. Oh. <laughs> Smash it, bro. Damage. Damage control. Pure damage. Give it a swing, Trev. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, I don't think we're going to get what we need from that. <laughs> that was easy. It proper wobbled, though, it went. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed where it was. Come on, girl. She's a DIY goddess. Making light work of that cupboard. Give it a kick, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Smash it, bro. Oh, yeah. Yellow. Teamwork. Good job, babe. That was great. Well done. How do we get out now then? It's getting really exciting now, seeing everything sort of go out, and then you can kind of vision your own vision. I'm just trying to think of what I would do with that wall there. I can see like old school pictures on it. But that bit there where Craig said like the farm hands used to live or sleep, what could we do with that? Like I know we could take out the wood and put like a like a net, you know, so you can go and like read books and stuff. That would be quite cool. But what else could we do with it? What are you thinking? Cannot wait to see what's under this carpet. Fingers crossed it's like some nice, nice wooden stuff that maybe we could varnish up. I can work with this. What do you think? It smells like cheese. <laughs> can you smell that? Oh, that's awful. Oh no, I can't even touch it. It's probably mould, yeah. Nah, it's the carpet. It actually smells like cheese. Ugh. It's a burrito. One, two, three. Hold the burrito. Echo! Oh, I love it. This is really, really cool. I do like it. I've seen people on Instagram that like properly shave it down and buffer it up and everything. Would you be against keeping floor in one of the bedrooms? No, I think a floor would be cool as long as there's some rugs to make Big it cozy, one. you know? Yeah, what's this part? I'm not sure. I wonder if anyone can tell us what that is. Is it a secret door? Trap no. door, trap door. No, no, no. What's happened is that this used to be where the cottage ended. Like that was the end wall and this was the fireplace, but where they put the extension on they've added these boards here they've added that much extension things with craig right he says them with such conviction and su such confidence that i go ahead like tell all my friends and family <laughs> and then they're like no that's not true that's not right and i'm like well, what craig said there is insulation under here it's another question we've got for you guys does insulation go off is there oh, a sell by date does uh -oh. it what my mouse poo Oh, I was hoping we'd find an animal soon. Our first pet, Craig. Loads of mouse poo. <gasps> Do you think it's old or new? It looks quite fresh. Don't touch it, is it warm? I can't get my finger in there. Oh my God. Right, this, oh, this whole floor 
This whole floor needs to come up. Jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get those sneakers? <laughs> oh my God, creeper. <laughs> Every time, Trevor. Yeah, see that's just soggy and... Just rubbish, yeah. All that needs to be done again. Okie dokie, well that's what we're here for, Craig. Yeah, mouse poo everywhere. Well, what? There's like honeycomb in there from bees. I don't know if the mice are nicking that. Right. And there's some big poos in there as well. Could be rats. They're massive poos. Really, let's have a look. Look at the size of that. Bigger than yours, babe. Guaranteed they're not bigger than mine. All oh, right, okay. Do I log her? Right there. I love a good tapestry. You're going to upcycle this bad boy, are you? Absolutely. Never did before in my life, but I'm uh, going to give that a go. Such a nice piece of furniture. The TV aerial from downstairs. This is so satisfying. All right, strip out is done. We're lucky the house is quite small actually and there wasn't a lot left. Well, that could have taken a long, long time. But now we're on to installing an electric shower. Slightly worried about this one, to be fair. You got it? Quite dungarees though. I obviously know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just don't want the house to go back up for sale because the current owners passed away trying to fit an electric shower. Well, we actually had the new meter installed and he's put an isolator switch on where you can just shut off the entire electricity for the house. So, so we're gonna, gonna do it in the dark, are we? That was just like half a day as well. That wasn't even like a full day work and I'm knackered and I stink. The shower in the bus has been playing up. I got in there yesterday and it was totally freezing. The heating wouldn't work. We're deciding that we need to do this shower. Even though it's really cold in the house, we need to wash. Because when the builders come up, they're gonna start complaining. We do actually have hot water. Oh uh, yeah, we do, yeah. It's through the fire, but this is an electric shower. So you don't need hot water, you just need a, a cold water inlet. That's the beauty of this. The bus is playing up, we can just come in here and have a quick shower. Another day. Okay, so Craig's mum and dad, they're coming up tomorrow, so we get to show them the place, and we don't want to show it to them as a big tip. We currently can't get into that room right now, so uh, we're gonna clear it, put it all into the truck, and then maybe, it'll have to be tomorrow now, but maybe take all of that to our dump, because remember, the skip didn't work out. Don't think our truck's that big. Tetris, babes. Did you want to click and clack, love? I'm honestly so excited to show people around. Obviously, we've never owned a home before. It's our first house together. We've been together for like forever, nearly 17 years this year we've been together. So to have our own home, to be able to finally invite our parents up, and we look after them for a little while. It just, uh, it, it, I'm so happy. It really makes me so excited that they're gonna come up. And you know, when you've got like something new and you really wanna show it off, you're like a little kid and you wanna show it off to your parents, that's exactly what we're doing. Plus, they're bringing the dog. Mum and Dad have come out for the last few days. So we've been playing tour guides, showing them around Scotland. We've done some distilleries, some locks. And now we need to knock some walls down, bring in the recruits. Let's get to work. That's nice work, isn't it? Oh, it's damp, really damp. Soil, All right, stage two, the ceiling's coming down. Let's see what's in the roof. Oh wow, this is what we're working with. It's actually really thick insulation. It's that thick. Oh, you're right. You're right, mate. This was the thickness of what was in there. So all of that insulation on the walls and that roof needs to be the same. Is there any point in taking the rest of the ceiling down? It's not going to take as long as you think it's going to take. You'll, you'll be really surprised as soon as we break ground. Do you know who you're working with, Jay? You are off the job site, love. All right, we've spoken to Jay and he said, rip it all down. Let's go. We're into the roof, like the boards before the slate, and they're all soaking wet by here. Proper, like, we need to fix the actual roof. So we're, <laughs> we're going through layer by layer to figure out how much needs to be done. Said on the home report that there was wood bearing insects, but they're also rotten from the damp, so we might need a whole new roof. Hope you like building houses. 
We got out of a cleanup on our hands. <laughs> Mum and dad have gone home, so uh, they've left us with the cleaner. I'm actually going to go as well, so uh, best of luck. Alright, fella, what's the quickest way of getting this all down to the truck? Got an idea. Tally ho! The best game of Tetris I've ever played. Job oh. well done, babes. Right then, all we need is a bed. And your bin. <laughs> Just be aware that when you come up, we are kind of in fancy dress. Don't be alarmed. Oh, okay. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> Don't point it out. <laughs> what's my line? <laughs> Don't point it out, Tony. Oh, <laughs> Come on now, you got one line. Asbestos, asbestos roof, 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 asbestos roof, roof. What's a skew? Chicken skewers. 